Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Today I will be showing you guys three decks that are worth to invest your money in EB01. So basically what this video is about I'm gonna be showing you um, for each deck one example version of um, a first place or um, some event winning decks and I'm going to explain to you guys what key cards are important in those decks and what are um, the important things to look out after. So with the first one being the purple and yellow crocodile he is about to get some insane support from EB and the most important cards are going to be Mr. Two and Miss Wednesday. Both of those cards and we cannot forget about Okama Way. These uh, three cards alone will be giving uh, Crocodile so much strength and so much, um, uh, let's say, sustainability and uh, viability. And you are looking at your known yellow big mom type of package mixed with Yamato we have um, Kikunojo as uh, the new OP06 card here um, this is the most basic EV01 decklist you can have for a crocodile as I've said before this deck has uh, been first place in an event in Japan and you are looking at two copies of Katakuri you are looking at four copies of um, the seven cost big mom four badges two yamatos two getatsu four um kikunojos four of the new miss wednesday four of the new mr uh two four of miss 13 and miss friday four of your boss monster crocodile four of your searcher miss valentine four of your ramping or two k counter miss double finger two amados two impact or reject and four of your Okama ways. So um, we all know the the cards from OPO6 and um, and the sets which have been um, released already. But let's take a closer look at Miss Wednesday. So she is your new blocker, and when your opponent attacks once per turn, you can don minus one. And if your leader includes Baroque Works, you can add one don from your don deck and set it as active. This works with the leader ability from Crocodile, so this is an insanely fast ramp. This is what makes this blocker so good for free, uh, a 4k blocker and she has 1k counter. Then we have Mr. Two as the secret rare from EB01. He uh, doesn't seem that strong with being a 4 cost and only having uh, a 1000 attack, but uh, he has on play um, uh, ramping 1 Don as active, which is nice. He is a 1k counter, also useful, but his um, when attacking effect is insane. Choose up to one of your opponent's characters. This character has the same base power as the chosen character for this turn. This is, this is truly insane. If you have him on the field, if he can attack, you can simply choose your enemy boss monster. Let's say he has something like 9 or 10 or 11,000. You simply say, I choose Crocodile, Luffy, Yamato, whatever it is. Uh, and I attack with him. So Bonclay basically copies him and copies his attack power. So for a 4 Dawn investment you get a Dawn active and in the next turn you can attack with a high number. You won't be able to defend him most likely um, because he only has a thousand power after you end your turn. The only way where you could actually defend him is with the new card Okama Way. Um, this is your new uh, one cost counter. You don minus one as well um, 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 Just like blast breath and if your leader has baroque works in types choose one of your characters Change the attack target to the selected character. So you could say uh, I'm attacking with mr. Two get my value ending my turn then the enemy decides to attack your rested uh, mr. Two you can say mm -mm, no, I don't think so uh, you activate Okama Way and you target, for example, Miss Wednesday. So you have Don minus one, Don minus one. You have you have uh, ramped twice. Um, you're basically at zero. You have protected your 
Mr. Two and you are looking fine. Basically, this is the whole deck. You have a lot of sustainability in the late game. You are playing your Crocodile where you can heal yourself. You are playing Yamato where you, where you can uh, also heal yourself. You have Kikunojo. Kikunojo is there to heal you um, with the seven cost Big Mom as well. Katakuri can do the job. Um, Katakuri is um, more important if you need to remove something bigger, something stronger. Or if you want to heal yourself like, I don't know, with um, Kikunojo or with Miss Valentine if you want to play her or Miss Doublefinger, there are possibilities. Um, the best effective scenario is against playing uh, the green Uta card where you want to remove Kit. That would be ideal, but you are not going to play every game against Uta, so you gotta you gotta watch out where and when to use Karakuri because he's an 8 down investment but he is still strong so this is basically it for your crocodile deck i am really looking forward to see him back again because he has a great color combination i really love it and he is going to become relevant and strong again so be on the look for crocodile and for the next deck we have as I have already mentioned, Green Uta. Uh, she is already strong and useful and viable and consistent, but EB01 makes her even stronger. And the only new card, uh, or the only uh, two new cards we are looking at, are the new Green Sanji. He is a four cost with 5000 attack power and a 2k counter. This is really great uh, he is obviously a firm character so you can search him and he has the effect that when you equip one dawn on your turn for every free rest the dawn on your field this character gains a thousand power so this could be useful if you go for like a lethal swing if you don't it's okay he is your 5k body most of the time you will be using him as a 2k counter if you're going to play him just do it it's 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 fine really and um the last new card in this deck is the blueno card he is a cp0 but also a film type character so he is searchable he is your baby blocker he is a 1k counter he really works in this deck then from the last structure deck from Zoro and sanji structure deck or starter deck let's say we have mihawk he's uh, not a new card but a newer card he is truly insane free cost 4000 2k counter insane effect you play mihawk you play brook and then you play any free cost like nami or uta and you could also even play bueno um it is truly insane and also having kit kit being able to summon your uta blocker and um you having a lot of counter with um uh, Chopper and Sanji and maybe even a second um, Mihawk in hand whatever it is you have a lot of power to defend your kit and Uta being one of the most consistent one of the most um, let's say easiest um, star deck to get into the game because the deck once uh, you need to play it like once or twice to really get the hang of it because the deck is pretty self-explanatory, you search, you search, you search, you're trying to get Brook, you're trying to get Nami, you're trying to get your uh, kid without searching, obviously because he is a supernova and kid pirate, so no film. So you are trying to get your Namis, your Brooks, to play them on your field and trying to draw kid. The best, uh, or uh, let's say the ideal way is to try mulligan for him so if you don't get him in the first hand if you can mulligan the hand if it's not ideal with like one brook one nami one mihawk one uta and let's say in new genesis that would be like the most ideal hand to get in this deck um that obviously don't do it but if you can mulligan if it's not that great try and go for kid it's always worth it this is basically the the uta deck list uh, pretty consistent pretty strong pretty fun I play it myself, I love it, and you could also add something like the Nine Cost Zoro or the new Hody Jones. You can remove like 
one Usopp. If you don't really uh, like him, you can play like one Zoro for the finisher, you can play like one Hody Jones for the finisher. Up to you, um, they work. Um, this is more, uh, more of a taste thing, if you like it or not. So if you want to copy this list, this was the uh, Japan final where um, the guy won actually against Katakuri because Katakuri could not get rid of useless Captain Kid. So basically, um, this deck has won the Japan finals. So this is something to say. And for the last deck that I can recommend you guys to invest in for EB01, sadly it is going to be one of the most expensive decks, but it is probably going to be the strongest deck in EB01 and most likely in EB01, uh, in uh, OP07. Sadly, because this deck does cost a bit, if you don't own the cards, it's not going to be that cheap but it's going to be strong and uh, this is uh, um, a first place decklist from a 3 on 3 uh, event tournament and we are looking at the red purple Trafalgar Law from the, the starter deck 10 and the new cards we are looking at are again Mr. 2 because uh, Law can actually make use of his um, for uh, of him being a four cost and of his effect that he can ramp a dawn. So you basically dawn minus three. You play something like him, get a dawn, or simply play him to get a, uh, to get your dawn back and rest four. We are looking at Sanji or Sobo Mask basically because um, this card is truly insane. It is a two K counter, a six K body, but. The effect says while you have two or more fewer dawn cards than your opponent in your hand this card costs three less So this is basically a free cost 6k 2k counter blocker This is insane. This is truly insane for every purple deck Especially for red purple law for like purple Luffy Insane. This is truly truly magnificent one of a kind card then we're looking at your staples for the red purple law um, you have the blocker law you have the searcher law you have your beppo from on plan when attacking you have your blocker kit who um, gives you a dawn back you have your um, mandatory shachi and penguin because if you get uh, them to play on your first shambles it is insane you get uh, two dons back Ain is for the um, ramping uh, for one don ramping Race Max is your cheaper version of Gordon and Gordon sadly is the most expensive card in this decklist followed by probably Trafalgar Law depending on how much Monclay is going to cost um, because you can play him, you can make use of his on play effect Gordon simply is, is that good Race Max is the same but if you can have 8 man this is, this is truly insane uh, we're also looking at the new Kid and Killer card for a uh, four cost. You get a 5k body and rush. And also, when attacking, if your opponent has two or less life cards, this character gains 2000 power during this turn. So, this is basically your finisher. If you need like one more attack, you shamble something, you get Kid and Killer and rush with 7k. This is truly insane. You also have your rush Zoro, pretty self explanatory. There's nothing to, uh, to say about that. And we are looking at something really strong here there is also room to to change something a lot of people are playing Ain, not not this version but the new uh i think it's in op07 the red Ain card where her own play effect is to set the power of a chosen character from your enemy to zero she is like a six cost i think and having like 7000 attack or 6000 attack i'm not quite sure you will be seeing it in the video we're we'll showing it to you right now so basically um this is something you could um you could change up once op07 hits and i'm and i think there is nothing really more to change there is always a little bit of something you could change if you prefer something more you could add like a fourth zoro if you really want to but there is uh, there really isn't 
uh, a need for that. So basically this is the top three decks that I would recommend you guys for EV01 and most likely also OP07 but I'm going to make another video for OP07 what is the best deck to invest for OP07 so basically we have the uh, purple yellow crocodile we have the green Uta and we have red purple lord those three decks recommended by me and you guys will be uh, having a lot of success and a lot of fun if you invest in one of those decks i can guarantee you that and uh, also you will be seeing those decks in your in your local events once uh, ebo one is there because the support is insane and the people will be playing those decks so you can try and join them and beat them with their own weapons and just watch them burn <laughs> Basically this is it guys, thank you for watching and we will see each other in the next video. Peace.